Hello everyone, welcome to Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In my last video, I showed you this GitHub project minimalist web notepad. This is an open source clone of notepad.cc, but notepad.cc is not functional anymore. We do see a couple of demos shows the result. In my last video, I showed you two different ways to create it. We can create the image based on a configuration download from GitHub project, or you can use my Docker Hub repository's image to create your own web application minimalist. Both works well. In this video, I'm going to do a little bit more than that. So my last video only shows you to use HTTP we're going to use HTTPS, as this shows it from the demo side, we should be able to use that. Also, you may want to put the basic authentication there. You don't want anybody to go into the website to create their own and or delete someone else's content. You may want to put the username password authentication there. So I'm going to use a pertainer, this Docker management web software to create our own minimalist web application. At the same time, I'm going to use in Nginx Proxy Manager access list function to create a username password authentication. So now let's jump into it. I'm assuming you already have your own VPS, you already installed Docker, Docker Compose, you already installed Pertainer. If not, you may want to read my blog post and uh, you want to see my previous video, how to get your free Oracle Linux and how to deploy Docker, Docker Compose. NPM, Portainer, so you will find all command code and the steps are from those blog posts. The basic command also list here, update your system, increase this website, install Docker and Docker Compose, those commands are based on Ubuntu system, then install Portainer, install NPM, once all those down, strongly suggest you to limit your log file size if you need it, enable IPv6. After all those steps done, then you can go back to starting to create your minimalist Docker from here. So I'm going to start to create um, my container minimalist, the image. You will find all steps from my blog post again, so you don't have to write it down. So we need this Docker image that's from my Docker Hub repository. And we need a port A006. That's the port we were using. It's mapping to containers port 80. If you want to use other port, it's also fine, but keep that in mind. You need to open this port from your cloud provider's firewall. So you want to change your restart policy to unless stopped. You also need to create a volume which is going to map in your Docker's inside internal folder to the Docker's host folder. So you can easily to back up your uh, data in that way. So we're going to map additional volume. We're going to use bind format. If you watched my previous video, you know all data gonna be inside of this folder in, a, in your Docker. For the host, we can put it into this folder. You just need to put the load parameters in, then it should be enough to deploy the container. Now you can see minimal list is running. 
now we should be able to access to it. So if you know your VPS public IP and you already open the port 8006 to the public, then you should be able to access it as I show here. So it will randomly create a notepad, but we can create our own. We call it a 51 sec. So right now there's nothing here. So we will just say, we can leave this message here. Again, that's the basic deployment using the container. Simple and easy. What we're going to do more than that is we're going to change HTTP to HTTPS and we're going to add authentication onto it. By doing that, we need the NPM to be installed. Again, if you don't have NPM installed, you can look at my previous um, video or previous uh, blog post, how to deploy Docker, Docker Compose, Potena, NPM. The link will be in the video description. I'm assuming you already deployed it, it's fully functional. Then you have a couple of hosts like my did here, already working. What you're gonna do is gonna add a new proxy host domain will be notepad.51sec.org. Again, you need to have this domain record being created. If not, then you can follow that same example I'm doing right now. I'm using Cloudflare to manage my DNS record. So I already have quite a few DNS records here. As an example, I'm gonna add this in. And then this will be my NPM's public IP address. So we're gonna put the NPM's public IP address here. At this moment, I don't need proxy. So this is notepad point to or NPM's IP address. Save it. So we have a record right now. Then we can continue. So we need a forward hostname IP and the forward port. Port we know is 8006. The IP address we can copy it from here. Just IP address. Perfect, we can save it. Remember, we haven't created any access list. So list is basic HTTP only. So we need a SSL certificate in that way. We're gonna add a new certificate from that encrypt. Domain name will be notepad.51sec.org. Add it in. Agree to the let's encrypt terms of service. Save. So we're going to apply a new certificate for this domain name, notepad.51sec.org. You should be able to see it from here. Once you have this one, you can assign it to your host using the SSL tab. Just uh, select it, select the certificate, save on it. So we're gonna give it a try, we're gonna try HTTPS. We're gonna use a domain name. That's exactly what we typed. It seems working. That's the first step we did. We changed it from HTTP to HTTPS and using our own domain. Our last step is that we're gonna put a basic authentication method in. So we're gonna use in username, password. So let's, we're gonna create a new access list. 
So we're going to have uh, authorization. We're going to create a new user. We're going to say test, password test, 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 and select save. We don't need to save that. So in the access list, we have one user. We can take a look again. So authorization test, test. And we need to say satisfy any because we also have IP address whitelist practicing. So if you know your IP address, you don't want to use the authorization because you authorize the person already. And so we know your IP address. So you can put the IP address here. In that way, you won't get this pop up to ask your username and password. To make it simple in this example, I'm just use a username password. Anybody, no matter where you're coming from, you're going to be propped up for to ask your username password. Okay. Then we go back to host, proxy host, and uh, assign list access list to it. So we assigned access list to it. We can change the access list name as well. Just put test. So it changes to the test access list to make more sense. This is only for testing. So all steps are done right now. Let's do the final testing. We're going to use a new incognito mode window to test on it. We put a notepad right away. When you access to it, it's going to ask your username and password. What we entered is test, test, and sign in. So, bang, we got our um, notepad, which is dedicated for us. So, that's very interesting settings. So, you can add your basic authentication method to your web application using npm. Not only you can change HTTP to HTTPS using your own custom domain, you also can put the access list to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumb up if you like this video. Also, please subscribe if you haven't. See you in my next video. Thank you.